so again they can give you um, mixed radicals adding and subtracting mixed radicals so you could have something like uh, let's just stick with uh, 2 square root 8 2 square root 8 and then let's go minus 5 square root 32 okay that's on there that's on there now 2 square root 8 we just did this but it would be 2 2 2 pair them up they come out as singles there's a 2 waiting for them so it multiplies the 2 it becomes 4 square root 2 minus 32 is 5 2's multiplied together it's 4 times 8 4 breaks down 2 2 and 8 breaks down to 8 2 2 2, two. so it becomes 2 2 2 2 2 Square root means bring out those pit, those two twos as a single two, bring out those two twos as a single two. So two times two is four. It comes out as multi, as a four basically because those two come out as a two, those two come out as a two. What's waiting for them is a five. So four times five is twenty. Square root two. Now because these things are exactly the same, you can combine your like terms. So four minus twenty. 4 root 2 minus 20 root 2 is just 4 minus 20. 4 of this minus 20, that's the same thing. So it's just becomes negative 16 square root 2. Okay? And that just means it's a negative number. This is not a negative in the exponent where you flip the whole thing. This is just a negative number. Okay? Uh, don't get confused. I'm going to say it again. Don't get confused between what's in the base and what's in the exponent. Okay. This is just a negative number. And that would be the answer to that. Because when you get radicals like that, you have to break them down so they're identical radicals for you to be able to combine them. Otherwise, you can't combine them.